morning guys welcome back to our channel because let's face it at this point you're the star of the show everyone loves you don't they yes welcome back to my channel guys i hope you guys are all doing well we are heading out the door we're just about to head out the door i've just got ready this morning we're gonna go a little festive today and we're gonna head to inspirations wholesalers as i believe they have all of their christmas stock out now and if you don't know what it is it's basically how do you explain inspirations wholesalers it has loads of different home decor seasonal bits especially at this time of the year it's just incredible so just for a little browse and it is near cheshire oaks so both of which are dog friendly so barney is going to be coming with me we're going to head out together and have a little mooch around the shops today it is bright blue skies not a cloud in sight so i don't need to bring a big water water jacket <laughs> raincoat yeah so i'll show you my outfit i am wearing brand new on tom actually came home the other day and surprised me with a little purchase that he had made from the white company and it's this borg gilet which i am obsessed with he said he saw it on the mannequin in the window display and said he thought it would look nice on me so what a lovely treat honestly i was like what have you done <laughs> but um yeah and i love it i really really like it i think they've got it in another color as well like a more warm toned teddy kind of brown i like a tan color this is the one that i would go for for me and my coloring so anyway this is what i'm wearing today this gilet with just a basic long sleeve white tee on i got this one from all saints recently and i really like how long the sleeves are just in a medium as is the gilet i'll leave these linked below and then these jeans i can't find the exact style because they are quite old but they're from everlane and everlane are probably my favorite jeans i own they're just so underrated as a brand that i just have to like praise them they're so comfy for a jean that um yeah i ended up getting a pair of blue ones recently and i've been wearing them quite a lot as well so if you're not really a jean wearer like me because they're uncomfortable try Everlane. I'll leave the ones that I wear linked below because they can be a bit premium, bit expensive, but the ones that I got were reduced from, I think they were from like 110, 120 quid down to 30. So I'll leave those ones linked and if they're still in stock and then my Vasia trainers. Now these Vasia trainers have a bit of dark green suede on. So I thought I would wear my new all saints bag for the first time as well oh it's kind of coming up quite dark on camera let me come by the natural light so you might be able to see it a bit better there you go it's more like a dark forest green it is quite long that's the only thing i would say for a crossbody that's on its shortest strap so it is quite long i'd prefer if it was like there but it sits there um but with a borg gilet i suppose it's a bit bulkier so it's all right anyway i just really like really like the color of it and it just kind of is a bit more premium than my say my uniqlo one which is about what is that bag literally 12 pounds something like that and i wear it all the time i'll leave that one linked as well if you want the cheaper alternative but just having the suede fabric just makes it a little more premium a little dressier we're here barney i actually took a wrong turn and i have ended up coming to cheshire oaks first basically went on the wrong exit at the motorway and it was taking me all the way back around and all the way back and i was thinking that's like an extra 15 minutes you know what i'm here i've <laughs> pulled into cheshire oaks instead um so we might we'll see how the day goes we might go to inspirations afterwards but uh, it's also very busy it's only just opened literally one minute ago so maybe that's why it's so busy everyone's getting here for opening but um yeah i struggled to find a space today anyway let's get going shall we and i have seen on their socials i believe it might even be today i'm not sure at least this week i think gales was meant to be opening here so we love a gales might grab some gales bits for lunch and i'm yet to have a coffee as well so if we see gales we will be grabbing one and oh there is a starbucks as well though might have a psl seeing as though it is the season however first stop a little grass patch for you <laughs> then we'll get shopping Maybe I'm not the one that you've been dreaming of But dirt underneath my fingernails Some worn out shoes I never thought that I would fall for someone to 
a single care. Looks like they're about to set up the Christmas tree. And it's always huge, hence the big crane. But that is definitely what they're doing. I think we're all shopped out. Should we go find Gales? Come on then. Let's go get some lunch. ended up being oh a quite a warm day if I'm honest but we are back in the car I want to open my windows but look at this it's on the ceiling of my car can you see it I don't want to open the window and it fly in but anyway yeah it's ended up being quite sunny I think I'm gonna head over to um inspiration wholesales even though it's not really cr giving Christmas vibes this weather but um yeah gales was a success i still went to starbucks to grab a pumpkin spice latte because that is the only thing gales don't do loads of different syrups and stuff and also puppuccinos they don't do so we got him a little treat whilst we were out and about and i picked up they were giving away these gift bags to everyone and then some people i don't know their method but some people were getting a voucher for a free either loaf of bread or free drink. I got a something I've never had before, and pretty basic, but a ham and cheese ciabatta. There are little gherkins in it as well, which I, ordinarily I'm a kind of pick my gherkin out of my McDonald's burger kind of person, but I think in this sandwich it'll be really nice. Shall we try it? Mm, mm. Pickle makes a nice addition. I didn't get anything sweet today either which ordinarily going to girls and not getting something sweet is just impossible but yeah I resisted I feel like it's because I know I've got some sweet treats at home and I did buy some which I don't think I'm going to eat just yet I'll show you why when we get home I normally as well whilst I'm over here go to the Neptune in Chester but I think they're about two weeks off getting their Christmas stuff in so I thought I think I'll wait for that and then maybe do another trip back here for a bit of Christmas shopping, you know, with like the, once the Christmas stuff is in full force here with all the Christmas tree and Christmas decorations and everything. So that's the plan. We will come back for that. Hey, Santa, the city is covered in did my love go Santa I'm waiting for him but he's nowhere inside oh my god guys they've got the Christmas music on and everything I am in Christmas heaven they've also got lots of different themes I like that sign I'm doing more of like a traditional theme this year so we're gonna head for all of these kind of like reds golds vintage santas oh. just look at this is this not just screaming traditional christmas i want even a bit more kind of like not just traditional a bit more kind of 90s noughties vintage theme in there but so so pretty so they've got some pine cone decorations a bit like the white company do it also got these little picks as well they're only 99p them as a bit of a table play setting like tuck that in your napkin i think that could look quite cute and then you could even pop like a name place card in there somewhere and then we have a very white christmas wonderland so all of the festive foliage loads of different wreaths garlands obviously christmas trees as well i've never seen anything like this before where it's just like a half tree there's something i really like about just like the plain foliage as well i mean look at the size of that wreath okay let me get barney next to it just for size comparison <laughs> it's bigger than barney that is ginormous i don't know if i like this particular material because it's a bit shiny that looks far more expensive in fact i'm intrigued how much are these oh wow they're not they're only 30 pounds let's go and see this one 
How much is this one? Okay, yeah, this one's a bit more expensive. Luxury pine wreaths, 60 centimeters, 28 pounds, right up to 140. Yeah, that's more like it. They are huge. I also really like this foliage. This one looks really realistic. Doesn't it, Barney? It's not a tree. It's not a tree. It looks like our tree in the garden. Do you know what that's making me think, actually? We could maybe pick some foliage from the garden this year and do like a mantle display with our fir branches. Like some clippings from that. This is more traditional with the big nutcrackers, the post box. I'm not sure where I would put a post box like that, but even by the front door. Do you think the postman would actually post our letters through there? Probably. Another thing I seem to be seeing everywhere this year is the gingerbread theme. So very much like gingerbread houses, baking bits. In fact, I quite like this white gingerbread house. They've got a large one at $17.99. Let me see how much this smaller one is. It is, look how glitzy and cute that is. Oh, there's no price on it. We'll see if we can find those. Do you know what it makes me think of when I see gingerbread? The Pottery Barn are very much kind of got that theme this year. £1.75, little baking, baking box. It is £4.25. Oh, that one's really nice as well. The Glitzy Tree, £7.99. These are quite good little cookie jars. Got the snowflakes up there. Christmas trees down here. These are, so that's a £7.75. Again, more of the kind of like gingerbread theme. They've got this huge house at £24.99. That is heavy. Also got loads of these crates, which they're using a lot of them for display, but you can buy them as well. They're $15.99 and they'd be really good for um, instead of like a hamper. Like a DIY hamper is a gift. Instead of a basket, to have it in a little crate like that and then that can be repurposed every year for Christmas decor. I love the idea of popping these on the tree as a decoration. I just feel like they're a little bit, oh look, you can see yourselves there. Hello. Are they just a little bit big, maybe? We've got the classic nutcrackers as well. These ones are quite like Scandi with just like the natural wood. I kind of want a big one that is a bit more of like a traditional one. So I'm going to keep looking, but these ones are $8.99 for the bigger ones. And that one at the front there is $4.99. I have seen a post box that I like the look of. I also love these stockings. They're only $5.99 each. I mean, they're quite small, so you can't get much in them, but for decoration, that green in the middle is gorgeous. Love that. This theme, I feel like it was huge a couple of years ago, but it's still very much here in Inspirations. <laughs> the whole candy cane theme. And then they've got it on the other side as well. <gasps> Loads of stuff. Look at the merchandising on this. Honestly, incredible. They do have still some of their Halloween display and it is actually in the sale as well. So 20% off marked price. We've got some nice wooden pumpkins down here and I quite like these big bronze ones at the bottom. Too nice to be set inside. So I have just pulled up at Tatton Park and I'm actually meeting my friend Lydia for a quick walk. She's messaged me this morning asking if I'm free. I've said yes. So we need to go find her, but she's not got her little dog today. Um, so it's just, just me and Barney, just does do. And I've not got dog walking clothes on either. So I think we're just gonna keep it casual with a little stroll um, and go grab a drink, which will be lovely. It's so pretty at this time of year with all the leaves starting to change color and um, loads of deer. As I was driving through, I saw loads, but yeah. Let's get out the car and let's see if we can find her, shall we? She is. <laughs> she is. just got back well I say got back we're not actually home yet we have just pulled in at McDonald's en route home from a lovely walk with um, Lydia it was good to get my step count in although I'm feeling it my legs have definitely been I feel like I've been on the go all day because I've been walking around Cheshire Oats and then we've done a lovely Tatton walk at uh, Tatton Park is if you're wondering where we went oh, someone's alarm's going off Tatton Park is just lovely at this time of the year with all the leaves changing colour and um, the deer and everything. It's just a beautiful, 
day today so yeah we had to get out and enjoy some sunshine and some fresh air i think this one's ready for a snooze to be honest <laughs> he's probably tired from being on the go all the day all the day oh see i'm tired <laughs> being on the go all day as well um but yeah i just thought i would pull in via mcdonald's tom is away tonight actually with work so i thought i would treat myself to a little cheeky mcdonald's dinner tonight solo dinner in the car and i've also just noticed they've added some bits to their menu they've got like a halloween mcflurry which i didn't go for because they've got a toffee apple pie so i went for that for my dessert and what else did i get i went for just cheeseburger and chips but also cheese bites that they've got on the menu and a toasted marshmallow hot chocolate so we'll give it a whirl and i'll let you know my thoughts, a little taste test. My tummy is rumbling. That's literally all I've had today is that um, chia batter from Gales and it's nearly half five. So I'm ready for something else, especially a sweet treat. A hot chocolate. Oh, the lid's come off a bit, but let's give this a whirl. I tell you as well, but they don't do decaf coffee here and I would have probably gone for that, but um, because they don't do decaf, I just, I don't want decaf. I didn't want caffeine at this time of day. Wow, maybe I need the caffeine. Mm, mm, mm. Hot. Oh, sweet. Very, very sweet. But I feel like with a hot chocolate, it's going to be sweet, isn't it? Mmm, quite nice though. It's basically like a hot chocolate with marshmallows on the top. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> I'm going to eat my cheeseburger and chips and then I'll come back with a little taste test of my toffee apple. They've forgotten the toffee apple, so I'm gonna have to run in and go get it. Oh, I've, I've had to done, do this before as well. And I'm actually thinking, I did. I think this isn't new this year. I feel like I've had this before, have I? Or am I imagining things? I know I had the chocolate one, but I'm pretty sure I had this last year. And then the raspberry white chocolate one was nice as well. But this is ringing a bell. <laughs> Did I have this last year? I feel like maybe I did. Need two hands for this, and oh, wow, that chin is chinning. <laughs> Hold on one second, let me get it out. Oh, it smells so good. And I realized, I was, oh, there's eyes on me. I realized I said toffee apple, I meant obviously toffee apple pie. Mm. I remember this. I definitely had this last year. Mm. I think it might trump the apple pie for me. I think it tops it. It's really good. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's good. I remember the um, the Galaxy Caramel one, not loving that, that too much. And the raspberry and white chocolate one was good, but it didn't beat the original apple pie for me. But this one, I feel like it's on a par with it. It just works. Anyway, sorry, I'm not gonna tease you any longer. We will get back home, give you your dinner and have a very chilled evening. And then I'll show you guys in the morning what I got from Cheshire Oaks yesterday. Good morning, guys. It is now the next day. And I thought it was about time I come downstairs and show you guys. Hold on, I can just get into the lap room. Um, some of the bits that I bought yesterday from Cheshire Oaks. Now, I will say a lot of the things I bought are for the gift guides coming. Is it next week? I have, I think I've got one more vlog coming after this one, which will be kind of like a, the last of my autumn content with it being um, a couple of days, a few days before Halloween. And then we are jumping into it this year with my gift guides. I usually do them first week of November, but the way that the dates work out this year, my first gift guide, my Christmas gift guide for her, is actually, I think, going to be the day before Halloween. So end of October. And then I'm going to do a gift guide for him. My favourite one this year, and the one that I've got so much stuff for, is my stocking fillers budget gift guide. So that's the one I'm really excited to bring you. That will be afterwards. And then I've got a pet gift guide, B&M gift guide. So lots of gifting content to come, but um, there are a few things that I did pick up that I am able to show you. Um, I'm just wearing this loungewear today. What do we do with doing the bottoms up? I don't 
need to be done up because they're quite elasticated. But this set I showed you recently from my one of my Instagram reels with a sheer really nice set that I've been wearing. I don't know why I'm perched down there because I need to get up and go get the stuff from Cheshire Oaks. Oh, I've got some good bits from Inspirations Wholesalers as well. This included, guys, how amazing is this? This was straight in my basket. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh. it's probably the most expensive thing I found in there, but I do love it. The reason why I was willing to pay that little bit extra for this, um, for decoration was because it's really rustic. There's loads of like chips on it. It's like gives that really aged antiqued kind of look. So it's not perfectly, you know, like if you'd see something like this in like a B&M, it's going to be perfectly bright red with the bright gold, no chips or anything on it. Whereas this I think looks a lot more expensive. So, and obviously we'll be getting this out year and year. And it goes perfectly with the whole kind of like the vintage Christmas theme with like the dark red. So I did pick this up, it was 70 pounds. I feel like if I'd have seen it in Home Sense, it would be about that price as well. You know, they have quite big, they've got some huge nutcrackers actually, which are lovely. And they're like made from a wicker in a couple of different colors. And they are, I think they're about a hundred pounds. And uh, yeah, so they've got things like this in Home Sense, but yeah, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, that's coming home with me. And they only had two left. I don't know if they're getting more in or not, but um, it is actually a post box as well. It's got at the back a little thing that you can open to get out the mail. I've actually just noticed that's not very good. The screws have come out of that one. Oh, there we go, back in. So if you had kids, you could actually do like, writing a letter to Father Christmas and posting it through. It could be quite cute. I feel like I don't want to put it by the front door because what if the postman actually use it as a, well, to be fair, I could get into it, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> they actually post our mail through it. I'm thinking even like under the tree or next to the tree, it could be quite cute. We'll see where I end up putting that. But anyway, that's one thing that I got from Inspirations. Let me go grab the other bags. So the other bits that I picked up from inspirations wholesalers i feel like i might as well carry carry on showing you what i got in here so firstly i got some more decorations i'm thinking um i've got a few like new gingerbread themed decorations which i also love and i'm thinking maybe for the tree in this room to add these onto i've got a couple of gingerbread houses and things so i could dot them around this room um so i found these two and they literally look like you could bite into them they're weighty, they were £3.75 each, and they look like biscuit. I mean, how realistic does that look? Nice and thick as well, with like a thick icing, and just a very slight shimmer on them. Also got, again, sticking with the gingerbread theme, the small miniature white kind of glittery house that I showed you for, was it seven nine? No, I can't remember, how much was this? £4.25 cute little again glitzy little gingerbread for the house but now how nice to have one that's white as if it's like covered in icing then i also saw these stockings at 5.99 and i thought for decoration these would be lovely like on a mantelpiece might even do i've got um a couple of like neutral ones with our names on but i might even do like an assortment of stockings i've seen on pinterest a couple of images where there's like a mismatch of different material stockings like as decoration hung up all together on the fireplace so that could be quite cute they had this in cream as well even as um to like gift things in <laughs> wow i feel like i'm really slow when i'm saying that then like as an actual stocking to give presents in that could be really nice as well i got some Sensicles, they've slightly changed their packaging this year, but this is the white winter first smell. Oh, that is the smell of Christmas. They've got loads of different scents. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Um, I put these on the tree in here because the Balsam Hill tree that, tree that we put in here is fake and it just gives the illusion and the smell of a real tree as you walk in the room. These really do work. Um, but I do find you have to get fresh ones each year. Even though when I open the tree every year, I get a waft of that smell having had these 
um, on each year, but I think you need to get fresh ones each year. Um, and then, last but not least from here, I got at 8 99 this board. And it's basically uh, like an acacia, I, I really liked the dark wood of this. They've got quite a few of these which are more lighter, but I loved the kind of darker wood, that thick vein and knots throughout this one. And it does actually come on a stand, so you could use it as a display board, but even just propped up against a kitchen work surface, I think that is really nice, or as an actual chopping board could be nice, or serve a platter or something. I did get this the other day, and I thought I would just show it to you now whilst I'm doing a bit of a haul, but Sainsbury's have brought out the Autumn Harvest. You know that tea towel design that I showed you guys? Well, they've got it in a doormat. These are only five pounds, which I think is a bargain for like a really nice neutral looking doormat to have at this time of the year. Now, the one that I've got currently, um, and the one that I've used this year is like pumpkin shaped, bright orange pumpkins, which is nice, but to have that kind of look without it being really colorful, I think I prefer this one. So I'm actually gonna pop that one away and use it next year. So I feel there's no point in switching it out when the doormat that we're currently using is perfectly fine. Um, is that really distracting, that light? I don't know if it's throwing off the camera a little bit. Cheshire Oaks, let's see what I can show you. Those. I went into a giftware shop and saw that they had these like treats which I thought um could pick up good stocking fillers but I'm not going to include it in my gift guide but um seasonal flavored snacks four pounds each from Gem and Seth's they do this Yule log flavored popcorn and then these I thought looked really nice milk chocolate popcorn stars so they've actually got little chocolate uh pieces with a, a piece of popcorn on each star. I also went into Cadbury's and to stick with the kind of like vintage nostalgic theme this year for Christmas, this is a throwback. The Cadbury's mini baubles which you pop on the tree and have as Christmas chocolate tree decorations. It's a shame that they're bright purple and white but I suppose that is the nostalgia element but if they'd if I can find some as well this year that are like that dark red or green, then I probably will buy them to add on as well. But yeah, they were in the Cadbury's store. I went into Molten Brown and these on offer, which I thought were a bargain. So these body lotions for five pounds, which they're usually 30. So they had loads of them as well. So this one is in the scent Serene Cocoa and Sandalwood. And then they also had, because I spent 50 pounds, you could get this candle for 15, which is usually, is it usually 50 pounds, this candle? Um, or around that. So this one is in the, they had a few different scents, but I went for the Lemon and Mandarin, which could be nice to gift as well, I suppose, as a, oh, it smells lovely, as a Christmas gift, but it's just a simple molten brown candle their candles are just super sleek and minimal smell amazing as well really really strong so yeah good to gift with it being not too christmasy scented you could obviously burn it throughout the rest of winter into the new year into spring so yeah i got that i went into wittard and they had some uh new flavors of teas and hot chocolates in so they had these on offer two for 17 pounds and I went for these two flavours. There's loads of flavours you could choose from. But I tried this one in store. They had samples of it, the plum and cinnamon tea. And it was so delicious. Very warm, very cosy. And I loved it. So I got that. And then they also had this apple strudel flavoured hot chocolate for autumn. How nice does that sound? They didn't have, or at least I didn't see any samples of this flavour. But yeah, that tea, I'm actually craving it now oh hang on a minute this is like a instant tea with natural flavoring so you just get three heaped teaspoons into water serve over ice for a long summer punch or add hot water curl up and enjoy as a soothing winter warmer popped to uh lululemon now i love lululemon you guys know i just go on about their leggings all the time yes i love my amazon jute ones as well which are just under half the price so they're still premium at 30 pounds each but the lululemon ones at 88 but they are incredible it's always on my wish list every single year for either christmas or birthday it's just a fresh pair of lulus and i don't get them every year because they do last really well 
but I live in them. So um, anyway, they have the typical Align leggings that I love, but very, well, I say very rarely, never will they reduce the black ones. But they had a few other colors available and I loved this burgundy color with burgundy being the color of the season. I thought I would grab this pair. It's just my standard Align leggings that I love in a six, which is a UK 10. That's the size I wear in these leggings. And how rich and gorgeous is that colour? Like for working out could be really nice with a little basic. I've got the Align Tank in a white. That would go really nice with these. Or just this and a nice cosy jumper over the top for like just lounging in. Some cosy socks, dog walks, everything. But yeah, that colour, amazing. So these, like I said, are usually 88. Oh no, 78 these ones in this colour but they were reduced down to 59. And then I also saw, okay, so the Align Tanks that I love, it's the same fabric, but I do wear a, well, I do have some in a size six, which is a UK 10, um, but I went for an eight, it's a UK 12, just cause I do find these size up a little small. I have these um, leggings in like the slightly cropped version from Lululemon in this pattern. So I thought I would get the matching top when I saw it in the, sale from 45 pounds down to 24 pounds i also saw this align tank which i actually already have a similar color i don't think it's the exact same color but it is very similar and i also have it in a six so i decided to get it in an eight again just a good basic to have and again reduced from 58 pounds down to 29 then i also saw in black in the sale so again rarely do you see black in the sale but i did see this now this is the Align waist length tank, which I've never had the waist length one. I didn't even realize they they did them. Just, I thought that was the only sort of length they did. So the fact that they do a longer one and in black and reduced, straight in my basket. So 45 pounds, these ones are full price. It was reduced down to 24. Now it was in a six, again, UK 10, but I couldn't believe that they had that in. So yeah, grabbed it. And then lastly, from Lululemon, I picked up this, which was a, or is, a little kind of like seamless bra. It does have adjustable straps, but it's just like a slip on over the head. So it's not like a proper bra, but this I think just as like a basic will be really, really nice to wear. Um, it's in an eight, so UK 12. They had loads of different sizes of these though. And yeah, they, they're called the Nulo Scoop Neck Bralette. RRP of £28 down to just 19 So I got very successful in Lululemon. Uh, but yeah, that's everything that I got that I could show you. Everything else you're just going to have to stay tuned for. Oh, someone's coming to say goodbye. Where is it? Can you hear the pitter patter? Hello, Barney. Are you coming to say bye? I was teaching him a new trick. Um earlier. Come here. Oh, you can't get in, right in the way. There you go, look. Come say goodbye. You say goodbye, what's that? Can you see his little lip where we cut it the other day? There. Oh, your bony lip. Although it is healing, but I'm wondering if it's going to scar like that. It's basically completely healed now. But look, he had an all black lip and now he's got a bit of a pink patch. Is that going to stay? Is that going to stay on your lip? Oh dear, did you cut yourself? Did you cut yourself? Guys, he slept so long this morning. I think because we were out and about all day yesterday at Cheshire Oaks and then we did a nice long walk at Tatton Park. He usually gets up in the bed. <laughs> he usually wakes us up. He's like our natural alarm clock at 6 a.m. every morning, sometimes a little bit earlier. But yeah, between sort of quarter to six and quarter past six, there's someone at the door. Is someone at the door or is it the builders? It's the builders um, working on the outdoor kitchen. They've rendered it. I'll show it to you in a second. Um, but yeah, because he was so tired, he jumped up in bed this morning at 7.20. 7.20 you came up for a cuddle. Usually when Tom's away as well, he'll nestle in right next to me, but... I think he must have jumped down in the middle of the night to go in his own bed and have a proper snooze because yeah, I woke up in the middle of the night and you were gone. I had his Ikea dog next to me and I thought it was him and I went to stroke it and I was like, oh, that's not him. <laughs> that's the Ikea dog. He left it up in the bed with me, haven't you? Oh my baby. Oh, that's a nice cuddle. 
Are you having a snoozy day today? Are we going to snooze on the sofa? So yeah, let's go give you a quick sneak peek of the outdoor kitchen. I think it's been perfect weather for them because they just need the sun and the warmth to dry it. Oh, it's looking good. And as you can tell, it's very sunny out there. So yeah, it is looking all nice and rendered. Excuse the glass, it needs a clean on the outside. We need to find a cleaner, window cleaner to keep on top of cleaning these doors. And also we've got the skylights up there, which obviously we can't reach. So that's on the job of the never ending to-do list. Something to find. But yeah, it's looking good. We've had the electrician do the first fix. You might be able to see the wires sticking out of the wall there. That's where we're gonna have a couple of wall lights. I bought some from Zara, so I'm gonna see what they look like there. They are rendering both inside and out. As the garden's a bit of a mess. It's looking a little leafy, shall we say all these leaves falling on the tree we have this pile of leaves over here that we need to pop in the bin but otherwise yeah we're looking pretty good just need to blow all those leaves off the grass because honestly we had the leaf blower out was it maybe three days ago and now look that's how many leaves have already dropped they seem to have stayed off the patio though and the gravel a little bit but yeah the, the grass is covered i think that's the magnolia that's dropping its leaves and then we've got obviously We've got all of these big trees in our garden, so the amount of leaves that drop. I mean, I love having these. Oh, yeah, can you see all that wind blowing there? Do love having these big trees in the garden, but it just means this time every year, the amount of leaves that we get is pretty crazy. But anyway, guys, I am going to close off the vlog here today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And like I said, stay tuned for one more kind of autumn vlog, which I can't believe that it's then into Christmas content, but I'm so excited. I just feel a bit sad that our, or oh, at least my favorite time of the year, my favorite season, September, October, autumn, Halloween. But anyway, yeah, I, um, I'm gonna close off the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you can, it would mean the world if you give the video a thumbs up and comment in the comments down below, letting me know. It really helps out with my channel. But most importantly, if you're not already subscribed, if you can hit that subscribe button, then it really, really helps with my channel. And yeah, it just means the world. So thank you so much for those of you that are already subscribed to my channel. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you are doing. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.